Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how a hula hoop is going to fix your forehand. Now, first, there are three positions that are so vital to improving your forehand ground stroke, and they all happen to use your non-hitting hand. Got the Topspin Pro here. If you haven't gotten one of these things, you're missing out. This is an amazing product. I am an affiliate. You can check out my affiliate link in the description below. So the first position, and then I'm gonna show you how to use the hula hoop to improve your forehand. But the first position is to take the racket back with your non-hitting hand on the racket. Don't think of your take back as just one hand. Don't think of your forehand as a one-handed stroke, but actually think that you're gonna take the racket back with both hands. Did you just see what just happened there? You, you should rewind and just watch what happened as my neighbor takes his dog for a walk. You gotta see what that just was. You wanna take the racket back with both hands. You don't wanna take it with just your arm. Think of the take back as a torso rotation, that you're turning your body rather than reaching your arm back. It's gonna make a world of difference in your ability to hit all, all areas of the court and to be able to uncoil into the forehand. The next idea, and then I'll show you the, the uh, hula hoop. The next idea is when you're contacting the ball, it's really important where you position your non-hitting hand. You do not want your non-hitting hand down here as you're making contact where this hand is dropping, but rather you want this hand rising as you're hitting the ball. This is where the, the hula hoop comes in. If you have a hula hoop, and I'm not super tall, I'm only five foot eight, but what you can do is kind of smush it a little bit, if, since my arm's not long enough. What you can do is with the Topspin Pro, you can use a hula hoop under your armpit that you hold on to, and you're going to hit with keeping your non-hitting hand out because by grabbing onto the hula hoop, I'm not gonna drop. I'm actually gonna keep my non-hitting hand up as I hit the ball. One of the biggest mistakes players make on their forehand is their non-hitting hand drops. That negates hip turn. Your right arm's trying to swing forward, but your non-hitting hand is dropping and you end up hugging yourself. You feel like you're in a straight jacket, right? So you don't want to be dropping this non-hitting arm. You want this non-hitting arm rising, which is why the hula hoop is gonna make a lot of difference in that. And then last is going to be catching the racket in the non-hitting hand. You know, a lot of players think, oh, that's just for beginners. No, it's not. Watch Dominic Team when he practices his forehand. I know that when Dominic Team plays a match, he's not catching his racket every single time. But go on YouTube right now and look at Dominic Team practicing his forehand and watch him catch the racket every time. And you tell me if you think it would be easy to rally with him when he's playing or just rallying like that in a practice you know, session. It wouldn't be super easy to play with a Grand Slam champion across the net, even if he is catching the racket with his non-hitting hand. Catching the racket gives your racket a place to go. It encourages an upward swing, which with the Topspin Pro gives you the instant feedback that you got the Topspin you're looking for. So take your racket back with both hands. At contact, have your non-hitting hand above contact. And you can do that with a Topspin Pro and a hula hoop. Have your non-hitting hand holding onto the hula hoop and you can see the hula hoop is moving. That's me uncoiling my body as I'm hitting. And then last, catch the racket in your non-hitting hand. All right, let me hit some shots here over and over again so you can watch it in action. I take the racket back with two hands. I make sure that as I'm hitting the ball, the non-hand is above contact and that it's rising as I'm hitting. And then I'm catching to help me bring it back right to the ready position. Get yourself a Topspin Pro. This thing is awesome. There's a reason I keep including it in my videos because I believe in this product so much for my students and I know it's gonna help you at home. You don't need to go to a tennis court. You can get better on your forehands, your backhands. You can even use this for serves to understand pronation, which is actually going to be the video I make next after this one. But go out, practice using the non-hitting hand correctly on your forehand. And there is no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net.
You got this.